Hey guys, Crypto Sunday, and it's a slightly red week again. Uh, nothing sort of too great. Two thousand pounds down. Uh, we're still sort of going through all this, all this contagion from FTX and uh, Grayscale and that sort of thing. Uh, let's have a look at the news. So, uh, Grayscale have revealed, uh, or Digital Currency Group have revealed, they are two billion dollars in debt, and they're sort of seeking. Uh, more of a an investment, uh, not a loan. I wouldn't have thought. I would think they're probably seeking investment, uh, selling sort of more shares, maybe, or sort of a, a bailout of some point, uh, maybe a, a bailout for Genesis. But yeah, they're sort of being very, uh, I guess, somewhat cagey, but also quite open in the fact that they're almost going bankrupt. Um, you do have Binance. Um, allocating two billion dollars now for an industry recovery fund. Uh, haven't really sort of said what this would be for. I mean, Grayscale are asking for one billion. So uh, if you or Genesis are asking for one billion rather, so you could give half of this as a bailout to uh, Genesis and sort of put this all to bed if you like. But he doesn't seem to be wanting to do that. Um, you've had Aptos and Jump Crypto sort of getting involved, putting 50 million into the fund. And uh, yeah, sort of remains to be seen uh, exactly what they want to do with it. Um, you're also getting uh, states, American state uh, regulators getting involved in uh, Genesis. Going to be sort of putting, doing an investigation into Genesis Global Capital. And it's whether they've uh, influenced retail investors on uh, crypto-related securities without uh, registering. So, not sure why this uh, hasn't been done before. They sort of wait until they almost go bust and then start investigating. Uh, a lot of people are sort of being very critical of the SEC and sort of various regulators. So, yeah, it's not going too well. Um, interesting, though, that the... Uh, it's sort of now being started to be levelled at uh, the SEC rather than the industry, which I think is good. Uh, people sort of being aware that uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum themselves are still basically fine. And it's uh, sort of centralised big companies that are, uh, are having the issues. And on the hack news, uh, you've got the FTX uh, attacker has started using a mixer service to try and launder the funds. Uh, it's sort of, as far as I'm aware, in the past this has been sort of eventually unravelled. Uh, you've obviously got, you know, very powerful uh, computers and very, uh, very savvy sort of white hat hackers, I guess, that can find out this stuff. And uh, yeah, you can sort of mix it all you like but some people can get to the bottom of it so yeah he's done 360 bitcoin uh, put through the uh, mixer service chip mixer and uh, yeah it'd be interesting to see sort of if they do all of this and then somebody still finds him at the end and he gets arrested and all of this comes back uh, i think that would be a, a very positive bit of news but yeah that's uh that's sort of this, the saga this week in uh, crypto, really. It's a bit of a soap opera, unravelling fairly slowly. So just a quick um, update on the news, really, this week. Not uh, not sort of too much happening, uh, although sort of on the, the big picture, there is rather a lot happening. Um, so just having a quick look at the tokens for the week. So uh, Bitcoin down 2%. Uh, nothing too much. Ethereum down even less, 1.16%. Uh, Cardano down about three and a half. Um, Solana sort of bouncing back a little, uh, up nearly 10%. Uh, Chainlink up 13.7%. Uh, not seen sort of too many developments as to why, um, but yeah, they're sort of making new uh, connections with uh, other other blockchains all the time and other companies, but I didn't see anything particularly dramatic. Um, XRP up 2.4%, not too bad. Uh, Internet computer down just under 1%. Power Ledger up 1.5%. These are all very, very small moves. 
uh, basic attention token uh, down just over one percent uh, audius up two chronos down 8.8 percent .8%, not uh, going particularly well considering their banners are all over the world cup at the moment a um, bit disappointed with that uh, quant up 5.8 percent so that's going uh, pretty well 15 percent in the positive on that though and Gala down 7, so about 15% in the red on that. Um, and yeah, the uh, Cardano 3x token was on FTX, so I guess I may as well delete that now. But yeah, that's the uh, portfolio for the week. A uh, fairly short update, but uh, leave your uh, thoughts in the comments below if you're buying anything. And uh, yeah, if you've uh, seen any news that I've missed, then uh, like and subscribe. See you soon.